They don't necessarily know each other, but they have faced the same ordeal. The war between Hamas and Israel has forced them to flee the north of Gaza to Khan Yunis first. When the Israeli army pushed its operations south, these Palestinians were forced to escape again, this time to Rafah, on the border with Egypt. Yet that allegedly safe place is where a deadly strike hit their family. They were in a safe zone when it happened. The whole family died. My aunt, her husband, their children. They were told they were in a safe zone. Sorry, but there's no safe place in the Gaza Strip. Not at home, not in the streets, or even in Muasi. It's not safe, as they said. Explosions rocked Gaza all day on Monday. The Israeli army's goal is still to dismantle Hamas military capabilities, stop rocket fire like this attack in central Israel on Monday, and bring back the hostages held in the Gaza Strip. Although the Palestinian group threatened the hostages would not survive if Israel kept fighting, the bombing continued. These images filmed, edited and sent out by Hamas show violent combat. The war that killed almost 18,000 people in Gaza, according to the Hamas-controlled territory's Ministry of Health, has killed more than 100 soldiers in the enclave, according to Israel, and about 1,200 of its nationals were killed on the attack of October 7th.